In this tutorial, we're going to look at the vertex of object level of the edit poly geometry type. So let's go ahead and create a plane here. We're going to add an edit poly modifier to the plane. Open up to the sub objects, select vertex, and let's look at some of these edit vertice options. So the first one is you can remove a vertice. So if I select a vertice, you can hit remove and it actually just removes that vertice. You can select a vertice. Um, right now, by the way, if you um, select a vertice and then go over here, you can see where it says vertex 70 selected. Each of these vertices has a number. That one's number 116. So you can see if I drag over this, there's only one vertice. But if I go here and hit break and then select again, it's four vertices selected. So it takes that one vertice and turns it into four. And you can see if I move these, that that's now broken into four different vertices. So that's the break. The next is the extrude. So if I select a vertice and hit extrude, by the way, on any of these edit commands, you'll see the button with the name on it. And then to the right of it, you'll see this little black square. Um, and that's the setting. So whenever you're going to use one of these operations, I would hit the settings button. It'll give you a little more control. And then you get a pop-up here. Now the pop-up has the extrusion height in this case. So you can toggle or type in a dimension. You can see it's extruding that vertice. And the next is the width at the base. So if I increase that, it'll actually increase the dimension at the base there. When you're done with it, you can just hit this checkbox there, and that will execute that command. So that's the um, extrude. There's also weld. So for example, if I select these two vertices here, um, weld is like join in other programs. And if I then select this, it'll weld any vertices that are within this dimension. So if I toggle this up, as soon as that dimension is within this dimension, it will weld them together. So you can see as soon as I cross that threshold, it welds them together. And that now becomes one vertice um, if I hit this check. So now it's vertex 59. Um, the next thing you can do is chamfer. So if I select this vertice over here, let's say, hit chamfer. This has quite a few options here. You can do the chamfer amount. You can do the number of chamfers, so you know one or zero. Um, you could change some of these other settings. Uh, you could chamfer it as an open hole or closed, and then a few other things you can do as well. And then hit that if you're happy with it. The other thing I want to show is connect. So if you want to draw a line between two vertices, like these two, if I hit connect, it'll actually create an edge, uh, a new edge between those two vertices. So if I select this one and this one and hit connect it'll create a new edge uh, between those two vertices. Um, you have the typical things like soft selection. The other thing I want to show here is this model and animate. So right now I'm modeling these, these changes. And I'll just create a new edit poly modifier to show this. If I want to retain the parametricism of that operation, so I want to come back later and change a, a chamfer or extrude dimension, for example, then you want to use this animate option. If you use animate, only do one operation per edit poly modifier. So let's go ahead and um, you can select, you can use it on multiple geometries, so multiple vertices, but only do one operation. So for example, I select those four vertices. I have animate selected, and you have to select animate before you execute the command. Then do extrude, and then click that checkbox. So one thing I do here, whenever I use animate, I immediately add an edit poly on top of that, just so I don't accidentally deselect whatever I had selected in the last one. So now that I had animate selected, if I go back to this edit poly, you can see vertex is still selected because I added the edit poly right afterwards. Um, and then because I did that, I have the setting options now. So if I hit settings, it'll bring back these options and I can change those values. So that's how you keep it parametric. You can only do it if you select animate before you execute the command.